Yo, what's good boys? It's your boy Sway coming back with another banger. Today I'm gonna show you how to make dark synth beats from scratch. But enough talking, just get right into it. Alright, so real quick, of course, we're here in FL Studio. Now I'm gonna show you how to make melodies, starters, or whatever, like this. Now this is a phrase starter for my free Genesis multi kit. Of course, the type of instrument that you need is important for this type of melody. Now, one of my go-to sounds that I use is from Analog Lab and it's a free bank within Analog Lab and it's called Iconic Vibration. And it's one of the first presets, it's called Lady Dina. It's absolutely insane, especially for dark synth beats. I'm gonna show you how I made this exact starter. We're gonna be in C minor and we're just gonna go like this. Lots of dark trap beats use a lot of tension chords and especially tension chords because they create a lot of suspense and a lot of drama. So we got this C minor tension chord right here. And then what I like to do is, of course, I like to highlight all of them, press Alt plus S. And we got the strummer, just strum a little bit out, you know, and it sounds like this. So, of course, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy each one at each pattern at each bar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy the first two notes, the C and G, copy this fifth and just do the same thing for all these. I mean, actually, actually, we're gonna remove this. And we're gonna go to 158, and then just bring it up. Now, of course, here it is. I hear you already got your starter, okay? This you can use for the background, for the main melody, whatever. But if you wanna spice things up, the best way to do that is by, of course, putting a lot of effects on it. So we're gonna go to Portal first, and then we're gonna go to one of my free Portal banks called Sinister Multi Kit. So we're gonna go to the Mockingbird preset, just find something that sounds cool. I actually like that one. Gives like a little weird, just sounds like a little, like kind of like a little filter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back to Portal again to get, you know, a, a different sound. All right, and then we're gonna go to, let's say, let's try Norden. Ooh, we'll put this we'll pull one down. Now, if you do get that little weird texture that Portal does when you export it, it's like a little time stretch thing that gets uh, as if it's time stretching in real time. All you really gotta do is just make it eight bars long. Or if you don't want, you know, like a little weird cut off, then just make it 12 bars long. And then you just gotta consolidate that. And of course, here you hear it. But then this one you don't. And then you just gotta remember to consolidate it again. And you could reverse it, you could do whatever you want with it. Put some deja vu which is basically just half time but a free version of it which is still literally the exact same as half time and it's pretty fire and it looks nice too so now we're gonna add some bass i also got some one shots in this multi kit and i got three respaces in here One thing you could also do for the verse section of your beat is from the main melody, let's say it's like too harsh, right? Now to give more room, all you gotta do is for the second part, like I say for the verse, just make it unique. Go to Stretch Pro and then put it down one octave. You just gotta be mindful that sometimes it can change a little bit of how the of how the melody will sound. Now with a Reese bass, I like to complement that with a piano bass. I let me put this one one more down actually. But also put Cymetic's Memory, which is also free. And it's basically like vinyl, kind of, but not really. I don't really know how to explain this. All I'm going to do is just automate this, of course. 
Yes, sir. And then, of course, we want to sweep. So it's a nice transition. We can also do this with sweeps, you know, so it's not too harsh. All right, now you literally could make a B out of this, but of course here we add more instruments. So you just want to find some stuff that will complement, you know, the melody. I'm going to go back to the free bank, choose uh, magic keys. All right, now with this, we could add some, um, could add some kickstart. Kind of fuck with that. Right, now of course we're gonna consolidate that now if you don't have a kickstart you can just use gross beat i'll we'll put some memory on it because it's a little too harsh all right now i kind of want to add a piano in this you can literally use any piano for this but i'm gonna go to the new r piano because i actually like i like that dark piano and then this is exactly why i fuck with these beats man chorus just put it halfway and then delay but put it above the reverb ping pong keep pitch i might do this actually I don't know about this piano though. I might change it for the felt piano. Oh yeah, and then we need some pads so we can keep the you know the atmosphere going. Now we could use some of the pads here. Sounds kind of fire, don't it? Maybe it might do stretch halfway. Put some port on this. That's fire. Uh, I might actually just leave it on stretch pro. I do got some string phrases in my Genesis kit. And they're all time stretch, but you don't have to worry about that, my boys. Put, just put the air away here so we're gonna go to my upcoming kit hidden gems of course i got lots of kits coming my boys lots of kits and we're gonna go to uh drum kit we're going to king this, this is just too crazy but let's try some other ones here boost it up a little bit Just uh, slow it down. Might add some courses actually. Might add some accent.
all right now the arrangement is all over the place but don't worry i'm gonna get it arranged but yeah that's essentially it my boys hope you learned something new make sure you guys follow me on ig at ig on switch sway flow if you guys have any video suggestions make sure you leave them down below and yeah see you boys in the next one Deuce.